Look at that view. Ah, what a perfect day. Okay, Timber, we're taking a five minute break. Hey, Timber, don't go too far. Timber? <laughs> Looks like Timber might need a few more lessons in obedience training, Tiffany. <laughs> you can say that again, Bobby. Hi, Timber! <laughs> Hi, Timber. <laughs> Hello, you two. Planning a day out? We're going to build the biggest sand castle in the world, Bobby. It's going to have a moat and a tower and battlements. And look, we've got flags too. Can you come and play with us on the beach? <laughs> I'd love to, but we've got work to do. We've got to get a new key cut for Haley the helicopter. Max has got the only key and uh, you know what he's like. Max always loses the key. <laughs> right, we're going to get a couple of spare keys cut so we don't have any more helicopter key headaches. Tiffany, come and have a little play. Please, just five minutes. Hmm. <laughs> okay, <laughs> five minutes and no more. <laughs> stay, Timber. Stay. Good boy, Timber. <laughs> I'll wait up here. Don't be long. Thanks, Petey. Oh, cheeky Bobby. Walking off with my key. Doesn't he know I'm in charge of Haley the helicopter? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, if this is going to be the biggest sandcastle in the world, we'd better get down to some serious digging. <laughs> OK, kids, hand me a spade. I'm going to make a ginormous sand pie to go on top of our castle. Wow! Let's decorate it with my flags. <laughs> well done. Hey, PT, are you receiving me? Oh. Uh, loud and clear, Frankie. What's your location? The seawall, near the pier. Is Bobby around? Uh, Bobby's not here right now, but he'll be back any minute, Frankie. Well, can you tell him that Barney would like his drill back right away? Leave it with me, Frankie. Thanks, PT. Over and out. Hey, you two. We need to get back to work. Better not keep PT waiting, Tiffany. <sighs> Have fun, you two. We will, Tiffany. Thanks for helping us build our sandcastle. <laughs> Bye, Timber. Bye, Timber. Come on, Scoot. No point in hanging about sulking. I'm going to find Bobby and get Haley's helicopter key back. Sorry, Petey. We got carried away building the twin sandcastle. <laughs> Frankie radioed in to say Barney would like his drill back right away. Oh, silly me. I promised Barney I'd return it this morning. We'll get Haley's keys cut first, then we'll drop the drill off at the fire station on our way home. OK, Tiffany. I hope Barney's not too cross with me. Are you sure Petey and the police crew are at the pier, Frankie? Petey said he was on the sea wall. Funny, Tiffany mentioned they were going to get some keys cut. I hope they're still there. I don't want to spend all day driving around the city of friends trying to track down my electric drill. Max! 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 Martin and me are building a humongous sandcastle on the beach! And, and I'm going to build an even bigger one right up to the sky! Bet you can't jump as high as me, Jumpy! Are you all right? <laughs> surprise, surprise! <laughs> Just thought I'd drop by for a chat. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, oh. Have you lost something, Bobby? Haley's key. I'm sure I put it in my pocket. I can't find it anywhere, Tiffany. Could you have left it at the beach? Oh, I, I think I might have left it on the beach wall when we were building the sandcastle. Bobby, we've got to find it. Somebody may need Haley for an emergency rescue. Without the key, we'll be in big trouble. What a pity. It was such a lovely castle. Oh, don't worry, Mia. We'll build another one. A huger one. Even bigger. With millions of flags on top and... and, and... Ah! Haley's helicopter key! Oh, no! Oh, oh, no! No sign of PT. Maybe they had an emergency call out. Oh, dear. We could be going round in circles all day long. Help! Help! Huh? Help! Over here! Quick, Barney. The twins are in trouble. Stop, Max! I'll get the key. I'm the bestest oh. key finder in the world. You can't swim, Jumpy. Um, yes, but if I could swim, I'd be a brilliant swimmer. Don't do it, Max. The sea's too rough. I've got to get that key. <laughs> oh. Nothing's going to stop me. What on earth is Max up to? Max! Hey, Frankie, what are the fire crew doing here? Martin and Mia are in trouble. Oh. You'd better get down there right away. Key is my responsibility. Bobby should never have taken it from me in the first place. Max is right. Haley's helicopter key was safer with Max than it ever was with me. What do you mean, Bobby? I... I've lost the key. You haven't lost it, Bobby. Max found it. What? You must have dropped it on the beach. Then it got washed away by a humongous wave. It was huge! Oh, no! Max is trying to find it. Oh, it's useless. The tide will have washed it miles away by now. The key's gone, Elfie. It's lost forever. Yes! Yeah! Go on, Elfie! <laughs> yeah! Don Elfie. No worries, Frankie. Sorry I forgot about the drill, Barney. That's okay, Bobby. Good job we tracked you down, <laughs> eh? <laughs> Haley's helicopter key is my responsibility. Quite, Quite right, right Max. Max. So I'm going to get another key cut, okay? Okay, okay Max. Max. You know, if I could swim, I'd probably be the best swimmer in the whole world. I could do butterfly, crow crawl, backstroke. I could do doggy paddle with Timber. We could do doggy paddle together. Little higher. To the left. No, no, your left. Oh, that's the spot. All set, Barney. I certainly am. I can't wait. All set for what? Oh, you haven't forgotten, Elfie. Barney's off to the seaside for a week's holiday. Oh, yes, of course. Have a good time, Barn. Oops! <laughs> oh, sorry, Barney. It just sort of slipped. <laughs> City of Friends Fire Service. What? Tom, we've got an emergency. A fire at the school. You sent Tom to the cafe to get you a sandwich for your journey, remember? <gasps> Then I'll just have to deal with this myself. Let's go, team. Hello, sounds like trouble. Barney, there is. Sorry, no time to chat. Let's get to work. 
there is a fire, it can't be a very big one. Where's all the smoke? There isn't a fire. <laughs> it's a false alarm. The school fire alarm went off by mistake. <laughs> oh, well, accidents happen, I suppose. Help! Get me down! I'm stuck! What's he doing up there? Well, <laughs> when the alarm went off, Jumpy panicked. He thought the roof would be the safest place to escape the fire. And now he can't get back down again. Did not! I was just... <laughs> ah, ah. <sighs> Hold tight, Jumpy. We'll soon have you down. Come on, team. Right away, Barney. Right, Elfie. Oh. Oh. <sighs> oh, it's no good. I just can't get it up. It isn't going to reach. Oh, help! I'm going to be stuck up here forever. Oh, oh goodbye, everyone. It's been nice knowing you. Oh, please, tell everyone that I was brave to the end. Jumpy, stuck on the roof. Don't worry, Barney. I'll get Max and Haley onto it right away. You heard that, Max. We need you and Haley to rescue Jumpy. As long as you haven't lost Haley's key again. Of course I haven't lost it. It's right here in my pocket. Uh... Oh, great. What did I say? It's all right. I remember. I put it in a safe place in my treehouse so I'd never lose it again. <laughs> Let's get moving. Emergency? Yes. Jumpy's stuck on the school roof. He could fall at any moment. Max and Haley to the rescue! Where to, Max? To the school. Jumpy's stuck on the roof, and we're his only hope. Good luck, you two. What's the matter, Haley? I can feel a bit of a tickle in my engine. <laughs> That's better. Whatever the problem was, it seems to be okay now. Oh, thank goodness for that. I nearly had a nasty accident there. King Max, you brought a rope. Rope? What rope? <laughs> oh, that rope. We used it to tow a boat to shore the other day. Yes, I thought it might come in handy. <sighs> Elfie, the safety harness, please. Here you go. I can't hold on much longer. Just a couple more minutes. <gasps> <gasps> Strap yourself into the harness, Jumpy! Oh! oh. Uh. You can let go now, Jumpy! Oh. <laughs> that was fun! <laughs> fun? It was a very silly thing to do, climbing up onto the roof like that. Next time the fire alarm goes off, you will follow the fire drill sensibly and not go running off on your own. Sorry. Hi there. Did I miss anything while I was getting these sandwiches? Oh, not much. <laughs> and now I can get off on my... Hang on. My case. I left it just here. And it's got my tickets in and everything. <sighs> mm-hmm. Max, I've got another job for you. OK, Bobby. It seems we've got a thief on the loose. Someone's stolen Barney's suitcase. Huh? Hmm. I'm on my way, Bobby. <laughs> oh, hi there, kids. Hi, Kimmy. Guess what? 
Jumpy got stuck on the roof at school. And Max and Haley came to rescue him. I didn't need rescuing and I wasn't scared. I was just about to jump off the roof because I'm a great jumper. <laughs> Not as good a jumper as I am. I'm... I used to do the high jump when I was a little Joey. Oh, I could jump like this. <coughs> and this. Jumper in the city of friends. Well, I. Hang on, Jumpy. I think Kimmy's hurt herself. Ooh. Don't worry, Kimmy. I'll go and get help. Nino. Nino. It looks really serious. I don't think Kimmy will ever walk again or jump or Ooh. anything. Wait. I'll need my medical bag. Only the handle's broken. Still, I can fix that when we get back. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to see the operation. Well, it doesn't look quite as serious as Jumpy said it was. <laughs> I suppose he said that Kimmy's legs had dropped off. <laughs> Hi, Max. Can't stop. I'm on an important case. Barney was going on holiday, but someone's pinched his suitcase. You haven't seen anything, have you? No. No, sorry. Hmm. I don't think it's more than a sprain. I'll soon have that bandaged up. Hey! Oh. oh! I don't think they're going to be much good for my ankle, are they? Well, well, well. I think I might just have solved the case of the missing case. You've got a bit of explaining to do, Ted. But... I... The, uh, honestly, Max, I, I don't know anything about it. Then how do you explain these? Come on, Max. There must be some mistake. Ted wouldn't steal a suitcase. No. I mean, I thought it was my medical bag. A likely story. Did it come in useful, Max? What? Did what come in... What are you talking about, G? That suitcase. I saw you and Haley taking it away from the fire station earlier on when you flew off to rescue Jumpy. You hooked it onto the end of that rope of yours. Very neatly too, I thought. <laughs> oh, Max, any luck with the suitcase napper? Uh, no. Uh, that is uh, uh, a bit of nonsense, really. It seems that Max took it. By mistake? Oh, don't worry, Max. It's the sort of mistake anyone could have made. Oh, no. Only Max could have made a mistake like this. <laughs> <laughs> No worries, Bobby. We'll soon get the traffic moving again. And I'll get on to the authorities about getting the traffic lights fixed. <coughs> oh. Yes, can I have... Oh. Hmm? <laughs> Just wait till Martin and Mia see you, Fluffy. They'll love you. <coughs> <coughs> ow! 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 Jumpy! What on earth were you thinking of? Haven't you heard of road drill? I... I wasn't... No, you weren't. Whenever you cross the road, you must stop, look and listen. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. Hmm. I think we'd better get Tina and Ted to take a look at you. Hi, Tina. Petey here. Got a little job for you. Yes? What can I do? Bobby! There's someone at the door! No, there isn't. I think someone might be playing silly games. Hmm. There you go, Jumpy. And next time, be a bit more careful when you cross the road. Yes, Ted. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Fluffy. Fluffy? Fluffy? Fluffy.
Ruffy. I'm taking him to meet Martin and Mia. <laughs> bye, Ted. Bye, Tina. Thanks, Abby. <laughs> Fluffy. These are my friends, Martin and Mia. Martin and Mia meet Fluffy. He's a bit shy. Come on, Fluffy. Out you... Fluffy! He's gone! Fluffy! No! Fluffy! Where are you? Oh, when? <gasps> Maybe he escaped when I fell over in the road. Fluffy! We'd better go and help him. Yup, I think so. Yes? I know you're there, and when I catch you... He's at it again! Did you see who it was? No, Bobby. I was keeping my eye on Petey and Tiffany. They've sorted out the traffic jam. Max! Max! Whoa! Got a job for me, Bobby. I might have. Someone keeps ringing the doorbell and running away. And you want me to find them. I'm on the case, Bobby. Um, what does he look like? I don't know, do I? If I did, I'd have caught him myself. Uh, yes. Yes, of course. Just a minute. I've got a brilliant idea. <laughs> got you, you little <gasps> scamp! I mean, uh, uh, what? Ringing doorbells and running away is a very serious offence, especially when you do it at a police station. Well, I did. Oh, so the bell just rang by itself, did it? No, well, I pushed the bell and... Uh, uh, there, there, little fellow. Uh, um... Jumpy's lost his Fluffy. His what? His new pet, Fluffy. He was coming here to ask you to help look for him. Oh, I see. Well, that's what we're here for. And what did, um, <coughs> does... Fluffy look like? Well, he's all black and furry, and he's got lovely long legs and these great big eyes, and he's gone! <laughs> he's gone. It's, it's all right, little... Oh. It's a problem, Bobby. Uh, just a bit. I, I'd like you two to go on a pet hunt. A what? Jumpy's lost his pet. He's called Fluffy. He went missing when Jumpy almost had that accident with you. Hmm, this sounds like a job for Timber. Good boy, Timber. Find! Find! Go, Timber! Don't worry, Jumpy. Timber will find Fluffy. And in the meantime, why don't you pop round to the fire station? Ask Barney and the team to keep an eye out for him. Thank you. Bye, Bobby. Bye. And his little feet, and they're so soft, and he looks at you with those cute big eyes, and he's all black and furry, and... Oh, oh, oh. Jumpy. Don't worry, Jumpy. We'll find him. I hope. Hi, Petey. Looking for Jumpy's little puppy? Puppy? I thought it was a kitten he'd lost. Oh! Oh, a kitten, eh? Hear that, Tom? We're looking for a kitten, not a puppy. Gotcha, Frankie. Fluffy? Fluffy? It's me, Fluffy! Oh, where are you? Poor Jumpy. <laughs> oh. Oh. Sorry, Scoot. This is going to catch the phantom doorbell ringer, Scoot. Max, what are you doing? I'm going to hide across the road in this cunningly constructed letterbox. Then, when whoever it is that's been ringing the doorbell arrives, wham! I'll have him. <laughs> Luffy! Luffy? Oh, we'll never.
ever find him. Let's go and see if Timber's had any luck. That's new. I suppose the postal department must have put it there. Don't know why. There's one just round the corner. Still, I suppose they must know what they're doing. Better empty it, I suppose. Go away. Ooh, who said that? I did go away. Who? Who's there? Me. Oh. Go away. I don't know what's going on. A talking letterbox? Think Bobby had better be told about this. Got you, you... Kimmy, it's you. Yes, it's it, it's me, I, I think. It's all right, Kimmy. I heard you the first time. <laughs> Bobby, are you all right? I'm fine. <laughs> Max, Max, you can come out. There was no mystery bell ringer. It must have been a loose connection. So... <laughs> level crossing and have a lovely time all of you thanks bye 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 mom bye <laughs> what's the matter with abby hi where are you all off to we're going off-road biking on the hill over the level crossing oh great it's good up there why were you driving like that abby like what well, you know, all stopping and starting. Oh, that? That's nothing. I think Abby's battery might be playing up. No, my battery's fine. Let's finish this shift and then check things over. Mm -hmm. All right. Bye. <laughs> Hi, Max. You look pleased with yourself this morning. Hi, everyone. Yes, I am. So, are you going to tell us why? Thought you'd never ask. Right, you know I'm always losing Haley's key. <laughs> Everyone knows that, Max. Well, the thing is, it'll never happen again. Wow, that's... well, that's unlikely, isn't it? No, nope. look, ta-da! I keep it round my neck now, so I can't ever lose it. <laughs> that's a great idea, Max. Yes. What can possibly go wrong? <laughs> the barrier's up. We can go over. We should get off and check anyway. All clear. Bobby to Tina. Bobby to Tina. Receiving you, Bobby. Go ahead. A job for you. A farm worker has hurt his leg. Needs you to look at it. OK. Where is he? Friend Farm. It's quite a way from Friend City. The only way to get there is by the road that goes over the level crossing. Oh, yeah. Uh, got it. We'll be there as soon as possible. Champions always crash. 
Ash. It's because they take risks and try things no one else dares to try. Of course. Are you all right? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? It's Tofa. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Level crossings coming up. Oh, 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 sorry. Don't worry. Oh, what is it, Abby? Um, I've stopped. Yes, so I see. Right in the middle of a level crossing. Can we move on? I don't think we can. Sorry, Tina, but I think I've broken down. Oh, Abby. Tina to Bobby. Tina to Bobby. Receiving you, Tina. We need assistance. Abby has broken down on the level crossing. Can Petey come and pull her off? After that, he can take Ted to the farm. No problem, Tina. Petey's on his way. Look! What's up? I think Abby's broken down. Oh, no! Right in the middle of the level crossing! Tina said there was something wrong with her. <gasps> Topher's coming back. What if he crashes into Abby? He mustn't! Come on! We've got to stop him! Wait for me! Oh, I can't tell you how glad we are to see you two. No problem. <laughs> OK, wave when you're ready. Tina, this is all my fault. I should have let you check me over when you said. What about Max and Haley? Good idea, Ted. They can get you to the farm while we work out what to do with Abby. Uh, Tina to Bobby. Tina to Bobby. Bobby here. Go ahead. Bobby, we can't get Abby off the crossing and she's blocking it. Can you send Max and Haley to take Ted to the farm? Will do. Leave it with me. OK, Bobby. I'm on my way. Oh, that sounds more like a sheep than a siren. Max and Haley will be with you soon, and Frankie can pull Abby away, so I'm sending him too. Thanks, Bobby. I'll stand on the railway track and wave him down. No, that's dangerous, Jumpy. You should never stand on railway tracks. But. You're right about waving. But if we wave from here, he might just think we're waving hello. OK, so what we need is flags to wave. Something that says, danger! Where do we get flags from? Oh, I know. Just need Haley's key and we're off. <laughs> oh, no. It's not there. Oh, where is it? Think, Max. Think. Tina to Max. Tina to Max. How are you doing, Max? Badly. It's Haley's key. I've lost it. But Max, you can't it's have. It's not on its usual hook. Max. It should be hanging Max, there. Max, listen. What? What is it? The key's around your neck, remember? My neck? Oh, yes. <laughs> so it is. Sorry. <sighs> Keeping it round your neck's a great way not to lose my key, Max. Uh, I think so. Thank goodness. Max will be here soon. And Frank is on his way. It's all going to be fine. <gasps> Tova! <gasps> He's coming down the line! Get me off here! Please! Open my eyes.
<laughs> Did it! Yes! <laughs> Thank you so much. <sighs> Tell me, Tina, how did Tofa manage to stop in time? Nino! <laughs> <laughs> oh, was it you? Did you warn Tofa? Yes! We saw you from up there, then we circled down and waved at him! <laughs> well, thank you, all of you. Head to Tina. The casualty is fine. I've given him first aid and we're taking him to the hospital for further checks. Thanks, Ted. And thanks all of you. That was brilliant teamwork. Nino! 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 Go on then, shoot! <laughs> You can do it again. Okay. Ready, Jumpy? You won't get it past me this time. Oh, hang on. Wait a minute. Hi, ah! Frankie. Hi, ah! Alfie. Ah! What's the big deal? It's only Frankie. But you know how much I want to be a firefighter. <laughs> and you will be when you're older, Jumpy. I want to be one now. <laughs> Where are you going? To watch, of course. <sighs> Morning, Tina. Hi, Abby. What's up, Tina? Something the matter? Well, there is, actually. I've lost Domino. Oh, no. She's my favourite kitten. What happened? She disappeared after her breakfast. And then I had to come to work, so I couldn't look for her. Let's go and look for her now. If there's an emergency, we can leave from your place. That's a great idea, Ted. Is there anyone inside, Max? No. They all ran out as soon as they discovered the fire. Oh, good. They're coming back! Hey, Jumpy! It's your turning ball! I'm going to the fire station to talk to Frankie. See you later! Oh, he's impossible. He's Jumpy. I've looked everywhere. She's not indoors or in the garden. Maybe she's in someone else's garden. Let's knock on a few doors. Come on, Frankie, tell me, what makes a good firefighter? <laughs> well, a, a good firefighter has to be able to do all sorts of things like... What? What? Like what? Like listening. Now, where was I? Oh, yes, well, for a start, you have to be able to aim a hosepipe accurately. <sighs> It's not so much fun without Jumpy. Oh, thanks. You know what I mean. Yeah, but it's hard to be cross with him. He's so mad on being a firefighter at the moment. Maybe it's just a phase. Oh, listen to you. You sound like Mum. Yeah, yeah. And you sound like Martin. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, hello, Kitty. Hello. Oh, <laughs> she's so friendly. Ah. Does it like football? <laughs> sort of. She's lovely. I wonder where she lives. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Tina. She's black and white, you say. Now then, I saw a black and white dog only a few minutes ago. But not a kitten? No. I saw a squirrel up a tree earlier. But not a kitten? No, I'm sorry. I don't think I've seen Domino, to be honest. But I'll keep my eyes open, I promise. Good luck. <sighs> now what? I think she's gone further away. Let's try the next street. <laughs> you have to stand still sometimes, Elfie. How else can I get you? <laughs> hey. oh. oh, thanks a lot, Jumpy. Oh, sorry, Tom. <laughs> Oi. Sorry, sorry. I should think so. Now I'll have to go and hang myself out to dry. Oh, maybe I should practice a different firefighter skill. It might be safer. <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> Frankie said a firefighter has to be fit and strong. Oh. 
Right, some way to go then. <laughs> go on, Kitty. <laughs> wow, see her climb. It's gone a really long way up. Come on, Kitty. Come on down. I'm not going to find her. Don't give up yet. There's still a chance. Have you got any photos of her? Yes, I have actually. You could make some posters and put them up. They may jog someone's memory. OK. Let's give it a go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think she's stuck. How can we help her? I don't know. Oh, there's Max. He might know. Max! Come on, Scoot. There's a kitten stuck up the tree, Max. Can you help her get down? Whoa! That's really high up. It's a job for Elfie, I'd say. Oh, yes. She could lift it off from her basket. Max to Barney. Barney here. I'm in the park, Barney. There's a kitten stuck in a tree very high. I reckon it's a job for Elfie. No problem, Max. She'll be with you shortly. Thanks, Barney. Elfie will be here in a moment. You. Don't worry, Kitty. We'll soon have you down. Ready, Elfie? Ready? Here we go, then. Oh, they've gone without me. Hey, Tom! Frankie, wait for me! Hooray! They're on their way. Oh, Jumpy will be so sorry to miss this. Maybe he's still following them. <laughs> Kitten's up there, Tom. No problem. We'll soon have it down. But where's Elfie? What? Elfie? Elfie! Hi, everyone. I'm the new Elfie. Jumpy! Jumpy? What on earth are you doing in there? And where's Elfie? I don't know. I was just looking round when suddenly Frankie drove off. Jumpy, you should never, ever get onto Frankie, let alone into Elfie's bucket, without permission. Do you understand? I'm sorry, Tom. But I checked Elfie was ready. Yeah, uh, mm. Jumpy, you're the limit. Please let me rescue the kitten. I'm really good with animals. Look. Come on, little kitten. Jumpy's here. <laughs> oh. You went without me. Jumpy, what's going on? You're about to rescue a kitten, Elfie. Sorry about going without you. I'll explain later. Oh, you found her. Tina will be pleased. Tina? Why? Because that's her little domino, I reckon. She's been looking for her all day. Didn't you know? There. Hi, Max. No, are you sure? Oh, I do hope Kimmy's right. I'll come straight over. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Domino! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Elfie. And thanks, everyone, for helping to find her. <laughs> it was exciting, but I wasn't very good at rescuing Domino, was I? You hold on to your dream of being a firefighter, Jumpy. And in the meantime, play football and have fun, just like the other kids. <sighs> and you won't get into Elfie's basket again without permission, will you? What if we needed water and Elfie wasn't there to help? I know. I'm really sorry about that. Until I'm a grown-up, I'll stick with football. Because <laughs> I am the bestest footballer in the whole wide world. <laughs> Come on, let's play! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Tom! Tom! Oh. What are you doing? It's my day off, Jumpy. 
So I'm doing some painting. Oh, I didn't know you could paint. Well, I'm not too good at it, but I do enjoy it. Yes, that is the pond. Careful, Jumpy. Yes, that's the pond. And are those green blobs the trees? Yes. Over there in the fields, it looks like a big fire too. Tom, we've got an emergency. Tom's at Friends Park. It's his day off, remember? Well, he'll just have to take his day off some other time. We need him. Come on, you two. And those yellow bits? The daffodils. <laughs> oh, that sounds like Frankie. Oh, <gasps> yes it does. Perhaps there's a fire at the city hall. Oh, and everyone's trapped inside. And they're at the windows shouting, help, help. And the smoke is billowing around them. <coughs> help. And the flames lick higher. Come on, Tom. We've got a bit of a flap on. Hop in. Go, Frankie, go. Don't worry, whoever you are. Help is on the way. Friends Hospital. Barney here, Tina. We've got a big fire at Friends Farm. There may be casualties. We're on our way, Barney. Hello, sounds like an emergency. Oh! Well, would you look at that? Someone's been daubing paint on the city hall. To think we've got vandals in the city of Friends. Great red and blue splotches of paint. It's outrageous. Something must be done. Mm. Well, we can't yes. have people walking through our town spraying no, paint well, on the walls. No. It's Did just you see not on, Bobby. Yeah. Graffiti in our no, town. It, 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 so what are you going to do about it? Hmm? it? Yes, exactly. I'll get Max onto it right away. Max? Got a job for me, Bobby. Max, there's... Someone's been vandalising the city hall, spraying paint all over it. And I want... And something must be done about it. Yes, so I would... stand there. Go and detect who it is. Uh, on my way. <laughs> That's it, Elfie. Tom, to your right. <laughs> so it wasn't quite as serious as Jumpy thought. If we'd had the fire he was talking about, we'd be here until next Tuesday week. <laughs> it does get a bit carried away sometimes, doesn't he? Sometimes. <laughs> and it was huge. What? It? There's never been a fire like it in the entire history of the City of Friends. The flames leapt a hundred metres into the air and the smoke was all black and sooty and... 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 What was on fire, Jumpy? Uh, it was an... um... a, a big sort of cube with fire and everything and... and... <laughs> Hi, Frankie. Did you put out the fire? We did that, Martin. Nothing to worry about, though. Just a haystack at Friends Farm. Uh, well, um, see ya! <laughs> mm. Mm. Still wet. Hi, Max! Sorry, Frankie. Can't stop to chat. I'm on an important investigation. Again, right under my very nose. Huh. Come on, Scoot. He can't be too far away. <gasps> Jumpy, did you see the fire? Yes, it was. I mean, no. <gasps> huh? What? What is it? 
So it was you. You're the vandal who's been spraying the city hall with paint. Me? Paint? I... It wasn't me. Then how do you explain these specks of paint and those splodges? Uh, I can't. Hmm. Oh, yes. Yes, I can explain. Tom was painting in the park. I must have got some of his paint on me, but I didn't make that mess. A likely story. I've never seen Tom painting. It's true. He was. And his painting stuff should still be there. He left it when he went to put out the fire. Hmm. We'll see. But they were here. A picture and an easel and paints and stuff. I think you'd better come quietly, Jumpy. But... Oh, what's that? Huh, you can't fool me with that old trick. <laughs> oh, no. Max, what are you doing to my painting? I think he's trying to get it off. And where are my easel and paints? <laughs> Looks like they're there, Tom. Well, Jumpy, it looks as if you were telling the truth. But it still doesn't solve the mystery of the Phantom Vandal. And I intend to get to the bottom of it. Um, I think this is yours, Tom. Oh, I'll just have to start again. Yes, I'll start again. Oh, I will track him down, or my name isn't Maximilian Tarquil de Montfort Spifforth, the third. Huh? What on earth? <gasps> Aha! So Tom's paints must have got spilled in the city square, and then people ran over them. So there was no vandal. No, just a series of unfortunate accidents. <laughs> well done, Max. You'll make a detective yet. <laughs> and now for your next job. I'm ready, Bobby. Get off to the city square and get that paint cleaned up. He... Uh, huh? Me? Why me? Tiffany's taken Timber for a walk and it's time for my lunch. So it's down to you. But I... Max, oh. what are you doing? Cleaning this paint off the walls. Oh, oh, can I help? Yes. Yes, of course you can. The more the merrier. Good, cos I'm the best paint getter offerer of walls in the entire world! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tom, what are you doing? I'm painting, Elfie. Creating. Hmm. And what's it supposed to be? It's the park, of course. Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh, it isn't. Oh, <laughs> but it is. My first painting wasn't too good. But when I saw it after Max had smeared the paint all around, it looked sort of interesting. And I realised I should be painting what I feel rather than what I see. Oh. <laughs> well, at least you sound like a painter. <laughs> <laughs>